Vishakhapatnam, where the mighty Eastern Naval Command is headquartered. Only in the last century, on 12 December 19 hours, and in due course, this base has become Loka Sarva Vyapakatvam Samuchitanga Chitri Karinjabadindi. As we await. Gentlemen, please watch carefully as a helicopter has just come in to simulate the formation led by Captain Shwadi Yadav and the Commander B.K. Sharma. The second aircraft is Vikram Kotiju and the fourth aircraft being flown by Commander Manik Mehta from INS 551. As we speak, the aircraft has been flying continuously since the first of... I request a big round of applause for the mighty PA aircraft which has been flying relentlessly yeah, towards search yeah. and rescue of our fishermen stranded at sea. Thank you. Approaching from right ahead now are the smaller but faster ships of the Indian Navy. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. On I now request... Of, on behalf of the Flag Officer Commanding-in-Chief, Vice Admiral Karambir Singh, we extend a heart... ...partial fulfillment of that innate human desire. Okay, Sampoor Nanga Sariga Unna Vimanam Nunchi, Yevaraina Yenduku Baitik Dukutaru, Anidi, Tarachuga Aka Samlo Diver Lani Adige Prashna. Gurutva Karshani Dikkarin Chedam, Rekkal Unna Jeeva... This combat free fall team is led by Commander Gaurav Mish... Ladies and gentlemen, visible to you. Indian Navy. They are arranged in a column formation that is one behind the other. In the lead is the guided missile destroyer INS Ranveer. It is only extensive training and the exceptional flying skills of the pilot that make operations from such restricted spaces. INS Shayadri, commanded by Captain Anil Jaggi. To make matters even more interesting, what if all this and the other Chetak is being flown by Lieutenant Commander Dhirendra Bisht and Lieutenant Arjun Srivatsa. Ladies and gentlemen, please watch carefully as a helicopter has just come in to simulate the rescue of a person in distress, lost in the vast expanses of the ocean. Life at sea could be very hazardous and falling off a ship at sea is the mariner's worst nightmare. As you can see, the US-3H helicopter has just now come into a low hover above the person in distress. This 
requires a lot of practice and skill. If the height is too much, the person cannot be reached. And if too low, it could be hazardous for the helicopter due to the water wash that is generated by the rotors. There, as you can see, the diver is being lowered into the water slowly. Healthy <laughs> helicopter is lowering a rescue basket for picking up the person in distress. This is the safest method of picking up a person at sea as it does not require any specialist training. The aircraft today is being flown by Commander Sendil and Lieutenant Commander Murli Krishnan. As you can see ladies and gentlemen, the rescue basket is being taken back into the helicopter and the survivor has been rescued. Right ahead of the dais. Please watch the proceeding just off the beach carefully as a seeking 42 Charlie helicopter now comes into a low hover. The helicopter will carry out the sun loki pampa badatadu. Dini kosam, pilot ku helicopter ni nilakadaga, kachita maina yetulo unchutu undali. Atupaina Marcos, oka pratyeka maina tarto, slithering drills ni chase taru. The Seeking 42 Charlie is a versatile twin-engine troop carrying helicopter which in its primary role is capable of transporting 28 commandos to distant places. There you see ladies and gentlemen the daring marine commandos are slithering down one after the other from the Seeking helicopter into the Gem Gemini which is placed right below the helicopter. Prekshakulara, Ipude Miru Oka Buddha and a Gattani Chusaru, Wokar Wokaritarvata Marokaruga, Marcos, a helicopter Nundi, Slither up the beach. We shot by from now, they will land the beach and carry out operations on beach. There you see, ladies and gentlemen, the marine commandos are approaching the beach. Right, 
the oil rig has been blown to pieces by a powerful explosion. In actual war scenario, destruction of such vital offshore platforms will create a huge loss to the economy of the nation while greatly reducing its oil production capacity. You will soon see a formation of aircraft approaching. The hawk provides the ab initio naval power. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for the angels. Now appearing in front of you are two UH 3H helicopters. These helicopters are used for the rapid commander Mulli Krishnan of INS 350. They proudly call themselves Saras. A big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for the Saras. Next you can see two Kamov 28 and Latin Commander Manish Mundra of INS Triple Three. They proudly call themselves Eagles. Big round of applause for the Eagles, ladies and gentlemen. And is fitted with the state-of-the-art avionics and sensors. These aircraft are the workhorses of the Indian Navy and are extended formation led by Captain Shivaji Yadav and Lieutenant Commander B.K. Sharma. The second aircraft is being piloted by Commander Shailesh Rana and the third by Commander Vikram Kotiju and the fourth aircraft being... I'm going to go to the 